So we're finally back in the Hunter Classic today. I decided to give it a little bit of a break on the channel just because we did a lot of werewolf content, but we're back out here in Red Feather Falls, and there's a bunch of competitions running today, and I'm actually kind of excited about them because two of them are for shotguns, and of course we have the new 12 gauge from a couple of months ago, and I just love the way this thing sounds, so any opportunity I have to shoot it, uh, I'm 100% in on that. So I think there's like four different comps I entered. There's one for Moose with a Bow, one for Blacktail with a Revolver, and then Whitetails with Buckshot, and Rose Red Elk is with Slugs for the shotgun, so... Probably going to be doing mostly bow hunting, but anytime we find anything good, we'll take it with a shotgun and we'll see if we can maybe place in one of the cops. Well, I mean, at least we have a bull coming in, but I think that might be the minimum weight estimate for a bull, and it's not much above the minimum score estimate. And I decided to take like a different route than I normally would today, just because we have all the competitions. And I wanted to just pretty much come down through here and then cut like across this way. And that'll pretty much take us through elk territory, then down into more like moose and whitetail and eventually we'll end up in blacktail territory and I at least thought it would be a good idea but so far as far as the elk go anyway it's not been the best but obviously this guy is not worth spooking everything with the shotgun so we'll get him in here a little closer and take him with the bow. I'd like him to stop but the angle's good at least. I'm starting to think we're just gonna have to take the shot because he's just not stopping and he doesn't see us to sit still. All right, so not the best start, but I guess at least we're starting with the bull and we'll just grab him and continue heading south. So 313 kg, I think 300 is minimum for a bull and 65 score. We might not shoot anything this entire hunt that scores that low, including uh, the deer species, but we'll keep heading down towards these couple of lakes because every time that I've gone down there lately, there's been at least like a whitetail buck or a bull elk. so. Hopefully that continues. So right on schedule, we've got a group of bulls coming in at these lakes. And the back two are actually kind of decent. That one's up to 315, and that one up to 285. But really, if we're going to get one of the back ones, I think we have to take it with a shotgun regardless, because this guy is going to just end up on top of us. They usually travel in groups of fives, but I think we're just going to not see the fifth one. But at least we got to take something with a shotgun. And, I mean, I'd like to see if we could spot a fifth elk running off, but not really see much of anything. But yeah, at least uh, we got a big frame elk, because we're kind of getting close to being out of elk ter territory, or out of the best area, so I was kind of wondering if we'd see anything good, but he might top 300. He's got some deductions that aren't going to help us, but 305, and lung, liver, and intestine actually work pretty well with the slugs, so that was in 6th place with a 305, and I think this competition is like pretty new, so we're not going to stay anywhere near that, but not bad just for a quick little walk through here. I do kind of wish we shot it later in the day though, because this is a pretty cool spot for a trophy shot. We got like the water in the background and just the backdrop is pretty nice, and then the fact that he died where he did, we're kind of standing up higher and can hold the top of his time there, but for just a low 300, that's not too bad. And I don't think we're going to fast travel. I mean, that's pretty far to go. We definitely spooked some stuff shooting in with a shotgun, but I think we can walk across and potentially find stuff. Ooh, that was a big bull. He's got a good frame, and I can't tell his back times. I don't know where he came from. Like, I was well aware that we spooked a herd of cows that were coming into that call as well, but that was not the second bull that was with the the herd of, uh, I guess there were three remaining after we shot that one. He's definitely bigger, so I want to go and get a look at that. Okay. That's a pretty small buck based on the weight. I had his track. He's like 60 to 80, I think. But he'd have a chance. I think this is our bull's track. That must be where he stopped and actually spooked from, so... It'll give the bull time to calm down. Might as well see what the buck is. I'm actually kind of glad we're bringing this guy in. I mean, other than the obvious that, like I said, it'll give the bull some time to calm down. That's just like a really good looking mainframe eight. I really like the look of it, so uh, we'll try to get him down real quick. And by the time we do, I'm pretty sure the bull will be pretty well calmed down. There was a doe behind us we gotta be careful about, because 
As long as it doesn't spook towards the bull, it doesn't matter, but we do need to kind of try to avoid that, I think. And 113, honestly, for an 8-point is not bad. I think it's because he had, like, the tall G2s and G3s, because, uh, I've seen, like, at least 10 points score below 100. That is, I think, the cow. I bet that bull is not far, then. Hmm. Okay. Not only do we have the big bull that we saw spook up in this direction, there's also a max weight estimate uh, bull that we haven't had any tracks of before, so this could be interesting. I could tell that track was big, like, walking over, and I wanted to see, but it's, like, the same age and everything. Maybe that's why they're not coming in? Because it could be that they were somewhere in the area where we shot the shotgun, and maybe they're actually in the same herd and, like, got separated, because that'll kind of have them trotting back to, like, herd back up rather than coming into calls. Because we should hear responses or something. We're not that far behind them. There we go. So that is, I think, the higher weight estimate one. The question is, are they actually traveling together or, like, what's actually happening here? But, I mean, we have the bow. So if they're not together, potentially we can still take one down without spooking the other. We'll just have to see how big they are, because I think... Right now, 380 is the top end of the competition, and one that big would probably place top three, so I definitely wouldn't uh, pass up one that's got an estimate in that area. Ooh, he doesn't look too bad. He saw us there. He's got back times and everything. I think it might be worth it. I don't want him to spook. I only saw up at 335. It wasn't quite as big as I thought, but... Just without being able to know exactly what his frame was, seeing the three back tines, I had to go for it. And he does have at least this one short tine here. He's bigger than the other one we got, but I think we're going to have to get back on the trail of the other one and go see what he is, because I just, I didn't get a good enough look to not follow him, but that's 100 harvest with the, uh, the new 12 gauge. And I think, yeah, this is the, the other bull that we were tracking. They got us to fifth place, by the way, but still not anywhere near top three. I'd say that's our bull. I think I saw him doing some, like, spooked animations, but he started walking right as they were playing out, so yeah, he's definitely spooked. I mean, he's got a good estimate, 320 to 370. Basically, I mean, at that, he's already guaranteed to be our best one. And this time right here is maybe, like, a little bit short. I don't know what to call it, but the one below the royal but it's definitely not super short, so he'll score pretty well. And I think, especially because he's spooked, I want to get in to shotgun range and take him with that, but really, I think to take him with a slug and not have to track him forever, I'd like to get within, like, 70 meters. And he's kind of just moving away from us right now, but eventually he'll calm down. So if we don't get kind of snuck into that, we should be able to call him back definitely kind of helps if they just wander right towards you without actually needing any calling, but I mean, there's not much there at that angle. Maybe we can get that behind the shoulder. Got enough, whatever it was. So, I mean, ultimately in a little over an hour, we haven't shot that many animals, but that's going to be three elk over 300, which definitely uh, can't complain about, but Let's see, 320 to 370, I don't think he's actually much over 320, because his frame's not huge, but he's not a bad one. 339, so easily our best, and that was actually double lung and right hind leg, so a bit of a tight angle, but we'll see. That's got us into fourth, so still not quite top three, but maybe we can uh, use the trophy shot poses here. To be honest, for what it is, I actually really like that. I didn't really have a, a better option. There's just this little strip of sun to get the elk in the player model in, but that's not too bad. And I think this time we are going to fast travel and get kind of down more into whitetail territory. I think I'd like to go to here just to see what's hanging around this stand. More elk. Not necessarily the ones we're after, but we'll do a little bit of calling and see what shows up here. I really wish that there was a different moose competition running right now. Because that's a max weight estimate moose, and there's one, I don't know what it's called, but you have to shoot the heaviest moose out of like a tree stand or a tower. I think tree stands are allowed, it might just be towers, but either way, we could probably make that work. 
But even so, this guy's not bad. 140 to 165. We'll see if we can drop him there and see. Just how heavy he is, so... Not a drop shot, it's gonna be lungs and he won't go far, but... I guess a doe had snuck in somehow? Never actually saw it, but... He's gonna drop right there. So we'll go out and get him, and then we're actually gonna be heading kinda down that way, so... We'll just do it from this side of the water over here. But let's see, he was max weight estimate. And he weighs 612 kg. That's a pretty big one. I'm not gonna say for sure that would have placed top three if, like, that was what we needed. But he'd definitely be up there. But as far as score, he just gets us into 17th. I actually didn't even pay attention to what he did score, I think. 140s or 150s? I really don't think I even looked. That might have actually been extremely useful that we didn't drop that moose. I bet that's the buck. That's actually a different buck. Alright, even better. So we can potentially get two, but I wouldn't have come over here. Like, if we dropped the moose, I would have crossed back onto the other side and walked down, like, that shoreline. And the track that we have is almost max weight, 80 to 95. But we'll sit and hopefully get this other guy first. I don't think that would be the same one. Unless they were both in the same area. This guy's 90 to 100 and actually a 155 to 175 whitetail. I just can't justify shooting it with buckshot, though. Especially knowing there's another, like, heavy one around. Because top score, I think, is 182. So this guy's got no chance of being number one. But yeah, I think... Thing. I'm actually kind of confused. Did I stay on the trail that it, that I had? No, okay, so that is just the one that called, not the one that I initially picked up a track from. I do see a couple of stickers that are going to knock his score down a bit, but he is a, another really heavy animal, 98.7 kg, and 162 is a pretty good one. Kind of messed that up, got lung, liver, stomach, intestine instead of double lung, but that'll work. And hopefully the one we're tracking is going to be just as big, if not bigger. I'd say that's probably our buck. 85 to 95. And that will confirm it. It is, so... At least it didn't take long to find, because he actually had walked down and bedded not too far away. And then he ended up spooking just from me trying to track him and just where he was, I couldn't see him, so... At least we kind of caught up to him and didn't spend all day following him. The one bad thing, though, he's got us back where we got the initial track of that first decent elk and then that led us to the other one but that's not actually too far away from where we were we'll just have to turn around and get back like across the bridge so that wasn't too bad and we got a bonus much bigger buck out actually getting his track but this guy 87 kg is pretty much at the bottom end of what our track said and he's just 108 so smaller than that mainframe mate we had earlier Ooh, we might be onto something with this one he's 175 to 195. I I had his track. He just grunted a minute ago. He was 70 to 90 on the track, and I didn't think it was worth following. And I just kind of hoped that I'd continue forward and get a call from him, and that's exactly what happened. But the track was like 55 minutes old, and it probably would have led me away from where he is now. I'm sure he's walked in like a big loop or whatever. I don't know. I think he's an 8x8. And I mean, 175 minimum... There's a very legitimate chance that's got us top three anyway in that buckshot comp. And I want to say it ends in like a little over 12 hours from the time I'm recording this. Because I hunted for it last night a bit. So I'm almost sure this one's closer to over. So that could definitely be something good. I can't tell if he is an 8x8. If he's not, he's not going to be much over that 175. Now that's unfortunate. Because, if we're taking the closer one here with a shotgun, it's not likely we'll get eyes on that one. I think I do see him. And he is quite tiny, so no worries there. Man, if I'm counting right, he is a 7x7. Seven seven, and that's really going to hurt his chances of being above, like, 180. I want to say that 183 or whatever he scored that we shot was a 7x7 seven seven as well. So there's definitely a chance, and I think... Maybe 177 is second or third place. So we could still end up top three with this, and I think it's worth actually taking with Buckshot. I should check to make sure that's actually what we have equipped, but yeah, I think we'll just take him there, and we'll kind of hope for the best as far as this score. Had another one coming in. I don't know if that's a 
just a really tiny one or a really odd looking nod tip? Like, either way, it wasn't big. Wish I kept the scope up because he just went through another opening, but. I don't know. It looked weird to me, but not one worth chasing, I don't think. But yeah, we're gonna really have to hope for good time length and just like even times. Because otherwise, he's just not topping 180. But he's 77 kg, like. A lower weight estimate I'd have never tracked him in. That is just quite unfortunate when you see 175 to 195 and he scores 175, but that will put us in fourth. Kind of wish I had taken him with the bow at that point, but, you know, there was that chance that he would have been somewhere top three. And, uh, if I can remember how to work this, like, he's probably subtotal close to 180, or at least in a position where he'd be top three. But there's just going to be a couple of deductions here and there that knock him down a bit. But, uh, we get something going for a trophy shot here. I think, actually, like, of the three that we've taken, this is by far my favorite. It's nice having the trophy shot poses. You can really, like, display the antlers better. But we'll go with that. And let's see where we are and what our fast travel timing looks like. We apparently can fast travel now. I kind of want to get up into Blacktail territory a bit. Maybe we'll get to within a kilometer of there. Fast travel that way and then just kind of walk up through here a little bit. Because I don't have a ton more time to continue this hunt, but I'd like to, you know, have a chance at getting on the board for Blacktail just in case. I was actually just kind of sitting here thinking, this hunt started off really slowly. Like we had the, the really tiny bull out to start with and then it kind of just picked up from there. It took a long time to initially find anything. But since then, it's been pretty consistent, like, good-sized animals, and almost always we've been after, like, a buck or a bull of some kind, so it's been pretty good, but we're gonna get this guy and then try to get up there into Blacktail territory a bit, and at least try to get a buck. We'll, we'll see, uh, how quickly we run into any, but, yeah, that guy's pretty tiny, not even 70 kg and a 115, but, yeah, I think we'll just pretty much follow that path. So, cat as expected. Unfortunately, our first blacktail is not that special, but it did take quite a long time to find it. We've been going for about 30 minutes trying to just find some blacktails, so I think, unfortunately, he's going to be our last kill, but it'll be an opportunity to use a weapon that we don't often use because this comp is for revolvers only, and I brought the 44 custom since we don't use it all that often, but the comp is for under 25 meters. It's not like this guy's going to win it or anything, but I'd like to just make sure he's under that before we take our shot. And that should be, unless something really huge runs off inside here in the next couple of seconds, our last kill of the video was 15 meters heart shot. Uh, I don't think that comp is any like super specific um, rules to follow, so technically that's got us top 10, but yeah, honestly, pretty good hunt. I was thinking about that 175 whitetail more. If he was an 8x8, he should have been probably 185, like two more times could have easily added 10 inches and he could have been first place in that comp, but... To be honest, my main goal with Whitetail is 200, and with what he had, he didn't really have a chance at reaching that, so not too big a deal, and it was nice to get like a good number of good kills. We had two pretty good Whitetail, three nice elk, and honestly, for two and a half hours, that's not bad on Red Feather Falls, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.